My name is uh, Remco Polman. I'm a professor of sport and exercise science at the University of Central Lancashire in Preston, UK. I would like to talk about the relationship between sport and exercise psychology and coaching psychology. Um, in my work as a sport and exercise psychology, I have done uh, much research on relationship between stress and coping in elite and professional athletes. And I believe that this kind of empirical work might also be very important to people working in the coaching domain. In particular, stress has been uh, seen as an endemic uh, aspect of our modern society. And probably a lot of the work done by coaching psychologists is to do to manage these uh, stressful uh, encounters by their clients. In this respect, I've been looking at factors which might influence the stress and coping responses by athletes. In particular, we've looked at relationship between personality uh, characteristics like the big five or mental toughness and how this might influence people's appraisal of stressful situations, the way they cope and cope effectiveness and how this then might influence their performance. In this work, we basically have shown that athletes who engage in what we call problem-based focus strategies are generally more effective in the coping and perform at higher levels than athletes who use what we call emotion-focused or avoidance coping, coping strategies. They tend to be not effective. And in particular, people who are mentally tough uh, tend to be using these problem-focused coping strategies rather than avoidance or emotion-focused coping strategies. As such, mental toughness might be an important concept which coaches could use in their practice in order to do, uh, help their clients to deal better with stressful encounters. There are also other factors like uh, people's self-efficacy beliefs and self-confidence, which are very important in sport, which are probably also important to people in coaching psychology. In particular, we have done some work on the relationship between people's coping self-efficacy beliefs and the use of coping strategies and the level of performance and coping effectiveness. And it seems to be that we can improve people's coping self-efficacy beliefs. They can actually perform better. And this kind of work is grounded in Bandura's work on uh, efficacy and as such provide good empirical background to uh, help the clients to deal with their problems. Similarly, we found that levels of self-confidence have some influence on what kind of coping strategies people use and the level of performance. As such, there seems to be quite good areas where coaching psychologists can intervene and, uh, for example, improve their client's level of coping self-efficacy beliefs as well as their um, self-confidence beliefs and as such they can uh, function better in their environment. So this kind of work which looks at the relationship between uh, stress coping uh, and emotions in sport and factors which would influence this are also relevant for people working in the coaching domain and these empirical findings might help and guide people's work in coaching psychology.